It'll take more than six months to get there, but NASA's next generation of Mars rovers, this one named Perseverance, is like a rover on steroids. Self-driving and mapping, equipped with microphones so humans can listen to the Martian surface, 19 cameras, then radar, spectrometers, sensors, and probes, and drills to collect soil and rock samples that a future mission will pick up. But the coolest feature of all, a miniature helicopter named Ingenuity attached to the belly of the rover. The first aircraft ever to take off and land on another planet for aerial surveys. Mimi Ong is the helicopter project manager. Did you have to ask the Martians for a pilot's license and Martian air traffic control? <laughs> I think they'll welcome us. It should be an exciting event on Mars. <laughs> the challenge, the thin Martian atmosphere is only 1% of our atmosphere. So engineers built a chopper weighing just four pounds with two rotors spinning eight times faster than a helicopter on Earth. It will fly autonomously just 15 feet off the ground. Today, there are simply places that we can't get to today uh, with just rovers nor even, you know, humans, uh, you know, sites of steep cliffs or, you know, uh, steep uh, crevices that we can't get to. And so being able to fly, that adding that aerial dimension is what's really important. The rover itself will land in a crater once an ancient lake, the perfect spot to search for signs that microbial life once existed on Mars, the prime mission objective. So if we, we find evidence that life was present billions of years ago, it becomes much more likely that it has migrated below the surface and exists there today, where it is both warmer and uh, and there would expect we would expect that there would be liquid water. In a Brady Bunch style interview, we talked to the NASA team making it all happen, even as COVID has forced many to work from home. It's even put another layer of excitement and challenges um, for our team to figure out how we build rovers, a lot of us with children in our laps um, and other things at home. And so uh, it's been it's been a, a big challenge, but really exciting. NASA's ultimate goal, putting humans back on the moon by 2024, then use a lunar base to launch missions to Mars. Among the experiments on this unmanned Martian mission, turning carbon dioxide on Mars into breathable oxygen for future human explorers. We want to plant an American flag on Mars. And so we're building right now the, the tools necessary to go to another world sustainably. In other words, to stay. Pretty cool stuff. Listen, we would like, according to NASA, like to put people on Mars in the mid 2030s. If you would like to more, learn more about this, get the kids interested, they have a fantastic website, Mars 2020 with NASA. You can even print a boarding pass to go on to Mars, learn about the mission, learn about Mars itself. Pretty cool stuff. Guys, back to you. That's really fun. And uh, Tom, elsewhere in space, <laughs> we're getting an <laughs> unprecedented look at Saturn. That's my daughter's yeah. favorite planet. What can you tell us? Other space news this morning. Yeah, take a look at the photographs taken on July what? 4th from the Hubble telescope wow. looking at Saturn and the rings changing color. The, the, it, this is summer right now in the northern hemisphere of Saturn, and the, the colors are spectacular. You see storms raging. By the way, the southern hemisphere, a dark darker hue of blue. It's, it's winter there in the southern oh, yeah. hemisphere. Guys, I have a little bit of bad news, though, about Saturn. Uh, the rings are disappearing. They're being pulled. Uh. The gravitational forces of Saturn pulling the rings in. And so we've only got 300 million years to take this view in. <laughs> you know, first you take Pluto away. It's not a planet anymore. And now you're telling me the rings are disappearing? Yeah, I know, I know. Pl you can see Pluto at Disney World whenever you want. <laughs> Tom, um, thank you so much. He always gets right. us excited yeah. about science. Oh, yeah. And it's great for the kids, too, if they're, yeah. you know, they can really get going on that.